Hi everyone, it's Harfoam here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable your FPS counter in Minecraft Pocket Edition and it's actually really simple so all you need to do is firstly head to your favorite web browser and now what you want to do is go and click on the link in the description down below all right and what it should do is go ahead and take you to this MCP EDL page where you want to go ahead and download the resource pack to show that you can go ahead and show your FPS counter and don't worry it is a direct media file page all right, there are no ads or anything in between. I would never do that to you guys. So yeah, now what you want to do is go and download the resource pack. And by the way, guys, if you have any queries re related to Minecraft or your Microsoft account, go ahead and join my Discord server. And there is a query section where you can ping me and ask me anything basically related to Minecraft and Microsoft. And now once the resource pack has finished downloading, what you want to do is go and click on open. And then after that, what you want to do is go and click on open with file manager or whatever file manager you have, basically your files application on your mobile phone. And what you want to do now is go and select the storage slot where you have stored Minecraft. So if you have stored Minecraft on your internal storage, then go and select that. Or if you have stored Minecraft on your SD card, go and select that for me, it's internal storage. And then after that, what you want to do is go and select games and then you're going to see com.moj and go and select it. And then what you want to do is go and paste this. All right. And now once you paste it, so it should be over here as as you can see fps counter.mcpack.zip now what you want to do is close everything from the background and go ahead and open up your file manager application all right and now once you go ahead and open up the file manager application what you want to do is head to files and then what you want to do is head to games com.mojang and then you want to scroll down till you see your fps counter like a resource pack and then what you want to do is go and select it go and click on more rename and then what you want to do is go and delete the dot zip and go and click on ok and click on ok once again and what this should do is go ahead and convert it into a .mc pack, FPS counter .mc pack as you can see. And now what you want to do is go and select it. Go and select anything from these options over here. And then what you want to do is go and click on open with Minecraft just once. And you're basically going to select it and it should open up directly to Minecraft. And now once Minecraft opens up, it should say import successful. For me, it says import failed because a duplicate pack has been detected. And now what you want to do is go ahead and head to your settings, all right. And then what you want to do is head to your global resources. And then under my packs, you should see FPS counter, go ahead and activate it. And now go back to the main screen, go ahead and hit on play, create new. And then what you want to do is just go and create a new world or you can use your old worlds as well. And what you want to do is go ahead and enable the resource pack once again over here. As you can see, FPS counter and then go and create the world. Now, once the world has been created, all right, guys. So now that the world has been created, as you can see, so the FPS is showing on the top right hand corner of my screen. It's showing that I currently have 55 to 60 FPS and this is pretty much how you enable an FPS counter in Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's really simple. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Now, goodbye.